All right. So are you ready to dive into some DC Comics? Always ready. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, today we're going to be talking about DC Comics omnibuses. Okay. Specifically for beginners. Mm -hmm. So if you're new to comics and you want to get into DC, this is going to be the deep dive for you. Sounds good. We found this list online of the top 10 DC omnibuses for beginners. Yeah. And uh, we thought it'd be a great place to start. For sure. So um, maybe before we get into the actual list, can you just give us a quick overview of what an omnibus is and why they're so good for new readers? Yeah. So an omnibus is basically like it's a big collection of a complete story arc or even a whole series. Right. And it's all collected in like one big volume. OK. So it's great for beginners because you can get like a complete story instead of having to like hunt down all the single issues yeah so you're not like jumping in in the middle of a story exactly we're getting like the beginning middle and end all in one book <laughs> that makes sense yeah okay so let's jump into the list the first one that caught my eye was batman the dark knight returns i know frank miller's name is like synonymous with this one mm -hmm. What's so special about this book? The Dark Knight Returns is kind of like a game changer in comics. It's yeah. like this Elseworlds story where Batman is older. Okay. He's retired and Gotham is kind of like falling apart again and he has to decide whether he's going to come back. Oh, so it's not your typical like, you know, bright and colorful Batman story? Not really. No, it's not a any... lot darker and grittier. Gotcha. Okay. So the second one on the list is Superman, the Man of Steel. Now, I feel like everyone kind of knows Superman's origin story. Right. What makes this one so special? So The Man of Steel was written by John Byrne, and it's kind of like the definitive Superman origin story. He, like, streamlined everything and really got to the core of, like, what makes Superman Superman. So even if you think you know Superman. Yeah. This is still worth checking out. Oh, absolutely. Okay, cool. All right, the next one is Justice League International. Now, I feel like when I think of Justice League, I think of, like, you know, big epic battles, right. world ending threats. Yeah. But this one seems to have a little bit more of a sense of humor. Yeah. Justice League International is a lot more lighthearted. Yeah. It still has like the action and the superhero stuff, mm -hmm. but it's also really funny. It focuses on characters like Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, who are kind of like the comedic relief of the Justice League. Okay. So that's like the Guardians of the Galaxy, the DC universe. <laughs> Yeah, you can say that. Okay, that sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, so next on the list, we have Wonder Woman by George Perez. Now, I know Wonder Woman is obviously tied to Greek mythology. Mm -hmm. How does this omnibus play into that? George Perez's run on Wonder Woman is like the definitive Wonder Woman story. Okay. He really embraced her mythological roots and like brought her world to life in this really vivid and complex way. Wow, so it's like a blend of like superhero action and like actual Greek myths. Exactly, and his artwork is incredible. Awesome. All right, so the next one is The Flash by Jeff Johns. Now, I'm a little bit less familiar with the comics I know, The Flash from the TV show. Right. What should people know about this particular omnibus? So this omnibus focuses on Wally West, who takes over as The Flash after Barry Allen dies. Okay, so it's like a passing of the torch kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. And it seems like from this list, there's like a real variety of different types of stories. Like you've got the dark and gritty Dark Knight Returns, and then you've got the more comedic Justice League International. Yeah, for sure. So it seems like there's something for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. So for all you listeners out there, think about what we've talked about so far. Which one of these storylines or characters are you most interested in? Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be right back with the rest of the list. Yeah, there really is something for everyone on this list. Yeah, okay. So let's jump back into it. Number six is Green Lantern. Rebirth. Now, Green Lantern is the one with the power ring, right? Yeah, that's right. Hal Jordan, he's probably the most well-known Green Lantern. And this story, Rebirth, it's about him coming back after, like, making some bad choices. Oh, so it's like a redemption arc. Exactly. It's a big cosmic adventure with the Green Lantern Corps. The Green Lantern Corps. Yeah, it's like this intergalactic police force. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a lot going on in this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, next on the list is Batman. Hush. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. What's so special about it? Batman Hush is like a mystery thriller. It's got all these classic Batman villains like Catwoman, Poison Ivy, even Superman shows up. Wait, Superman's in this one? Yeah, he gets involved in the whole thing. Is he like fighting Batman? I don't want to spoil it, but let's just say things get complicated. Okay, now I have to read it. So basically it, someone's trying to take down Batman. And they're yeah. using all his enemies to do it. Exactly. Yeah. And it's really suspenseful. You don't know who's behind it until the very end. Oh, okay, that sounds good. All right. DC Universe by Alan Moore. 
Now, I know Alan Moore is like a legend in comics. What's different about this omnibus? So this one is actually a collection of short stories featuring all sorts of DC characters. It's a really good showcase of Alan Moore's writing style. So it's more like experimental and kind of out there. Yeah, you could say that. He really pushes the boundaries of what a comic book story can be. Interesting. Okay, next we have Aquaman by Jeff Johns. Now, I got to admit, Aquaman has always been kind of the butt of the joke in the Justice League. Right. But I heard this omnibus really changed people's perceptions of him. Yeah, Jeff Johns took Aquaman, who was often seen as kind of lame, mm -hmm. and he turned him into this like really powerful and complex character. Wow, so it's not just about talking to fish anymore? Nope. It's about Atlantis and political intrigue and all this cool stuff. Okay, that sounds way more interesting than I thought. Mm -hmm. All right, and last but not least, we have the new Teen Titans. This one seems like it may be good for younger readers. Yeah, definitely. It's about a group of teenage superheroes. Okay. They're dealing with all the usual teenage stuff like school and relationships, mm -hmm. but they're also like saving the world. So it's kind of like high school drama meets superhero action. Exactly. It's a really fun read, and it's a good introduction to the DC universe for younger readers. Awesome. Okay, so we've gone through the whole list. Ten amazing DC Comics omnibuses. Each one is totally different. Mm -hmm. So now comes the hard part. Choosing which one to read first. Yeah, but that's the fun part too, right? Yeah, it is. I mean, there's just so much to choose from, so many choices, right? It can be kind of overwhelming. Yeah, where do you even begin? Well, what kind of story are you looking for right now? Like, <laughs> are you in the mood for something dark and gritty, like Hush, or something more hopeful and inspiring, like The Man of Steel? Yeah, or maybe something a little more lighthearted and fun, like Justice League International. Exactly. Like, think about the heroes that you're drawn to, the themes that you're interested in, and the kind of reading experience you're looking for. Right. And, you know, this list, it's really just a starting point. It's like a gateway into the whole DC universe. I like that analogy. A gateway drug. Yeah, once you dive into one of these omnibuses, you're going to want more. You're going to want to explore other characters and teams and storylines. Totally. Yeah. And the great thing about comics is that there are so many different entry points. Uh -huh. You can jump in at any time and find a story that grabs you. Yeah, there's no right or wrong way to explore the DC universe. Yeah. It's all about finding what you enjoy and just letting yourself get lost in these amazing stories. You know, I think what makes omnibuses so special is that they offer a complete reading experience. Right. You get to see these characters evolve and grow over time. You get to see how different storylines connect and pay off. And you really get to immerse yourself in this whole world. It's like binge watching your favorite show, but for comics. Exactly. Yeah. You get that same feeling of satisfaction when you finish a whole story arc or complete series. Yeah, and there's something really satisfying about holding a physical omnibus in your hand. Right. It feels like a treasure trove of stories just waiting to be unlocked. Yeah. There's a certain weight to it, a sense of history and legacy. It's like holding a piece of comic book history. I love that. So as we wrap up our deep dive into DC Comics omnibuses, I want to leave you with this thought. Okay, go for it. Don't be intimidated by the vastness of the DC universe. Embrace the journey. Pick an omnibus that calls to you. Dive in and see where it takes you. You might be surprised by what you discover. Awesome advice. And hey, if you're looking for more recommendations or you want to chat about your favorite DC Comics storylines, this is up in the comments. Always happy to geek out with fellow comic book fans. All right, till next time, happy reading.